we've been fixing up Nikki. And there's gonna have to be a whole lot more wires on there than there was on the OHV. You've got your stock wiring harness. This is Nikki's original. It hasn't been modified, it's been repaired. And so I'm gonna have to unwrap this. I've got the original XR600 wiring harness untaped. The goal here is to keep the XR600 ignition wires and add on the stuff I need for the components I'm putting on to make the bike street legal. You have to make just a few modifications to the stock wiring harness and it's really tough to find places to put all your components and then you got to decide how you're going to hook them up and unhook them. You want to test things out to make sure that they're working properly so that you don't have to double back and rewire something you already did. Those annoying turn signals. I pre-wired the headlight so that I'd have a minimal amount of plugs to unplug and if I did so everything would still run up front without the headlight on there. Once you're satisfied with the wires you can begin to tape it up and put the two harnesses together. One of the first places I could actually wrap up the wiring on is realistically the old XR wiring. It's not going to change here at the coil or the pulse code generator so these these wires stay the same there's a short loop here that I can tape off once you're happy with that you're gonna have to take the harness off and finalize the main harness I've left both ends of this adjustable still and at this point we're going to finalize each end of the harness to hook up with the components both under the seat and up at the headlight. This conversion worked out real well for me. Uh, as far as the lighting goes, uh, I hooked that up to a battery and everything worked as as it should. Once I got all the tank and seat and everything on there, the ignition was all just fine too. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a supply of wire terminals that have a strain relief and a waterproofing housing over them. See that website address? Don't use those crappy crimp connectors you can get at Home Depot and everywhere else.